Okay, so for figure P3-8, kind of see this uh, T-shape uh, at the end. That can be on the uh, the front plane. We'll extrude it back. And then we'll probably do the uh, the shared sketch where we just have the rectangle, sensor 15 um, by 20 for both. Uh, then we can utilize um, you know, utilize the, the mirror or the symmetry. All right, so still in um, 2017. We'll start our sketch on the front plane, center line, vertical, infinite length. Uh, we'll go ahead with the, the T shape. This is a metric part. Okay, so let's see, height wise, we have 30 millimeters on the edge, looks like 10 millimeters on the width. We'll need to verify that if I pick it up, but I'm not seeing a full depth. Right, so 20 millimeters on the, uh, the width. Uh, overall height. Now well, we have the 80, so let's go ahead and pick, uh, pick that. And then if we're doing 10 and 20, not really anything off of the base. So if there's uh, another 10 and another 10, that would be a total of 50. So we'll start off with 50 and no, I don't want to be in the angle. So I'll hit escape on the keyboard. We'll set it for 50. We'll do the right to left window pick and mirror the entities and then extrude and I think I'll stay with mid plane on this one and we have a depth of 60 so 30 coming towards us 30 going back all right and then um, we can pick on the um, on the face all right so the, since this one's coming out that would be preferable than the the right plane so control 8 brings me around normal to that face since my automatically rotate is turned off. Set our rectangle. So 10 from the top. And then 20 on the height. And 15 on the width. Right, and then 10 back. And then really we just need to verify that they'll end up being 10 after we make the, uh, the mirror. Okay, so we can do a smart dimension. We'll still end up with the overdefining condition. But I can go ahead and accept that dimension is driven. And we have the, uh, the sketch. So first we'll do the, um, the extrude cut. And that can be a through all. And I want to select contours so that I'm picking just the one, one cut. Then I'm going to highlight, uh, expand out, hit the arrow next to cut extrude one, expand out so that I can see the sketch, highlight the sketch, and then this is going to be uh, an extrude boss base. Uh, again, I'm not real fond of leaving the, uh, the sketch. I'd rather clear that out and pick the inside. And then that has a height of 25 millimeters. And with uh, 30 on the edges, yeah, it works out. So we'll save this and on to the next one.